Swandabele, one of the self-governing black states in the Republic of South Africa, is the home of the Indabele nation. The territory lies northeast of Pretoria and is inhabited by the Manala and Nzunza tribes. The Kwandabele landscape consists of savanna bushveld with red bush, bush willows, sweet thorns and zizipus. The annual rainfall varies from 550 to 650 millimeters. Underground water is scarce, but the Elans and Mosses rivers could support storage dams. During the year 1550, the South Ndebele under Mafana came to the Transvaal and settled in the vicinity of present-day Ranfontein. Their architecture has always been subject to change. At first they built with stone, later cone-shaped huts reminiscent of Zulu building. During the reign of Maboho, the South Ndebele met whites for the first time in 1837. The whites noticeably influenced their architecture and the decoration of their homes. Despite external influences, the Ndebele preserved their language and culture. Makwala, or home decoration, is done during winter, when there is no rain and the sun shines. This is woman's work. Black mud, stagana, is used to set the pattern on the wall. The result is a mosaic of line and color, a visual image of the history of the family and the tribe, the experiences, the joys, the pain. Even the elegant Roman Catholic Church flaunts a Joseph's coat of many colors. The home of Chief David Mapoch of the Nzunza tribe also reflects the ability of the Indabeli to absorb foreign influence without losing its own identity. Traditional habits, as displayed by Chief Alfred Mabena of the Manala tribe, are faithfully followed. The other chiefs are Di Matlangu, called Mapoho, the paramount chief and father of the prince, Eles Matlangu of Lito, and Di Matlangu of Punguche. The political development of Kwandabele progressed from the established tribal authority to regional jurisdiction followed by the Kwandabele Regional Government in 1977 and the Kwandabele Legislative Assembly in 1979. With the opening of the first session of the first Kwandabele Legislative Assembly, Dr. Kurnov said the establishing of the Assembly was of great importance to the South Ndebele on their road of political development. The stage had been reached where the South Ndebele could take over executive and administrative power of a number of authorities.